Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BR Knowledge Center. Now in this session, we'll see like how we are going to update a packages.config file with the latest version. Because if you look at uh, previous sessions, like we just uh, know installed packages based on packages.config and uh, NuGet software, right? Now I wanted to make sure I should get latest version always automatically and update my packages.config so that I'll not be spending more or much time on that uh, version number of package and uh, every time. Right, because if you look at it now, uh, jQuery or any you know, kind of a bootstrap, it is going to uh, get new version every quarter, or every half, or every year, right? Every month, like that. So if, 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 whenever a new version is coming out, I not I'll not make sure, or I, I don't want to change my packages.config manually because I wanted to uh, make sure that my script is going to update that, and based on that, it is going to download relevant packages. So how to automate? like you know downloading the latest uh, component or package using packages.config so i'll not be touching packages.config to be updated or having latest version but i should download latest package how to do so what i'll do is i'll uh, make a new script here like you know download packages and i'm going to update this particular packages.config based on that okay so how to do this so I'll be creating one more uh, PowerShell script here, update packages, right? So what I'm going to write here script is, I'm going to write a script to update my packages.config file dynamically. So, so to do this, I'm going to define uh, the array of, you know, uh, uh, the packages, okay? Uh, list of packages, what packages do you want to, you know, uh, uh, update the latest version right so i'll just declare package ids is at the rate right i'm just taking an array here, array kind of stuff right parenthesis close this so here i'm going to mention jquery this is the first component okay and then a bootstrap and then sharp chip lip. So these are the libraries or packages I wanted to uh, get always latest. Okay, jQuery. So if you look at here, this is the jQuery, right? This is jQuery, and this is the bootstrap, and this is the bootstrap, and this is the sharp chip lip, the sharp chip lip. Okay, I wanted to update this package to compact. Let me uh, one thing. I'm clearing this make empty coming here so here i'm going to up create dynamically this package dot uh config okay so for that i'm declaring a variable package dot config content equal to so basically having right uh i think uh, you know that first statement is uh xml tag right xml version equal to 1.0 encoding utf8 question mark this is the first statement right and then i think also we have a, a packages root node right and packages root node i'm just closing this okay packages root node okay now i'll make a loop for each loop statement Okay, package ID, these are the IDs, right? I'll take package ID in package IDs, okay? So here, I'll get the latest version. So latest version equal to, so I'll using invoke, right? The rest method, which is a partial command. So URI, and here I'm going to say UR here like it is api dot nuget dot org this is the nuget package manager website so v3 uh nothing flat container and this this is going to change based on a requirement or your uh, uh, version number uh, package id okay slash index dot json this is the uri 
and output is what I'm doing is select object. Uh, this is expand property is property is versions. I'm expanding from this. I'm getting uh, before that I'll sort out sort object. I'm sorting in descending. Descending, okay. And then I'm getting select object. That is first one. This is the URL I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to build rest of, you know, package content, right? This is the package content initially having, right? And for this, I'm adding it, right? Uh, I can say plus equal to package id right i'm going to say dollar package id this is the package id okay i'm just closing this similarly version equal to right uh, this is latest version okay and target framework i'll hardware this anyway for now uh, which is something dotnet 472 and close this okay and the new line okay so with this the new version is going to be added so i'll just display some messages right host uh, latest version of uh, so on so package that is package id means it will show you the package is dollar latest version okay now i'll close this tag mm, i'll do this after loop once the loop is done because it is going to read two different components right here three after this i'm going to add the last statement that is plus equal to right packages okay and this package is i'm going to create right package content i'm going to save into output file file path is package dot contract okay and i'll say encoding also utf8 so i'll say write post package is config updated that's it. So I created an array here. I'll uh, just started creating content and keeping it here <clears throat> and loop through. I'm just getting latest version and creating this particular node and then finally saving into this particular path. Let me save this. Go back to your PowerShell script. Okay. See here. Uh, initially, I don't have anything in this. My package is dot config. See here, it is empty. Right. Now I'll just update packages oh, package id is not recognized the name cm delight let me go back to script package id okay uh, package id package id package id where is the mistake package oh packages okay let me run through again Edit position parameter one expand one select object select object select object okay where is the select object mm -hmm. select object so invoke rest method hyphen URI select object hyphen expand property 
expand property. Okay, this should be an instance. Okay. I'm going to do a script. Here we go. It is fetching latest versions and updating. See here, latest version jQuery, latest version Bootstrap, latest version C sharp, sharp chip. Now, see here, type packages dot one way. Now here, this is updated with latest packages. Got it? The same thing you can uh, open it here. Packages dot config. Okay, this is how it is going to create. Okay, I think this can be formatted if you want. To. Okay, but only thing is you need to see here is this JS file is dynamically updated with latest versions. I'll not be doing anything. It is just updating it. In. So let me do one thing. One more uh, library I'll add it. Knockout or uh, anything I'm going to add it. Let me do this. Knockout. This is one more library I'm adding it. Just to go back to your PowerShell script and just try to uh, update this. And that is version jQuery, Bootstrap, Sharp, Chip, Knockout is 0, 0. So like that, you just add whatever component you wanted here. Like um, anything else you want, uh, jQuery, Bootstrap, uh, AngularJS you want, anything AngularJS. Uh, maybe that is not supporting it in any other library you are using it. Uh, like um, Bootstrap, Tidio. Let me try Angular. What did it give you? Angular JS. Save it. Let me try to run this. Let's start a jQuery, Bootstrap, Swap Shape, no code, Angular JS 1.8.2. Perfect. So, like that, it is dynamically creating your packages.contract. This way, it is dynamically creating your packages.contract. Okay, so that's how you need to build, right? The package dot uh, config using uh, the script update packages. Okay, so let me open this into this space. Why? Because this is creating space in this, right? And now when I run this, now you can see that space is not showing anyway. Okay. So like that, you can add n number of, uh, you know, the libraries. Now you can see the space is remote. Okay. So like that, you can add n number of libraries and those libraries will get added. Like, you know, uh, any DLL you want to add it here. Uh, let me try uh, any DLL. Uh, any DLL I can see like, um, mm, and Whatever, whatever DLL you want to add, you just add any DLL here as part of this. Uh, let me try to entity framework. Will this recognize? I'm not sure. Let me try. If it is not finding it, it will definitely throw the exception. Okay. Oh, it is. So now this is also added, right? So this way it is just getting the DLLs versions and adding it into this particular file. And using this you know, download package, it will download all the latest packages. That's how it is going to work. Okay. This is the script you are going to write it for updating or creating packages to config dynamically using, uh, you know, this PowerShell script. Okay. I hope you understood the PowerShell script, like how we are going to build up uh, dynamically to be updated latest version and create power packages to config. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.